In the heart of the Indus Delta, in the rundown port of Katy Bandar, I met Mohsen Channa, head of the Sindh government's coastal department. Mr. Channa won't say it outright, but the floods have been good news for him. For decades, the Indus Delta has been slowly withering, sucked dry by massive irrigation and hydroelectric dams built further upstream. Salt water surging from the sea into the river has killed mangroves, exiled wildlife and rendered once fertile land unusable. So places like Kainty Bandar, which was once a thriving port surrounded by fields full of crops, have gradually ebbed away. But since the floods, the area has been injected with a new lease of life. Mr. Channa took me on a tour of the mangroves to see just how his department intends to take advantage of the recent changes. We are trying to capitalize on whatever positive effect the flood can have on uh, demographics, on geography, on the development of the area. So if there is an opportunity, we should not let it go waste. So that is why I was saying that we, come, we are coming to these places more frequently because we had a 8,000 hectares uh, plantation target. We have achieved that target and we are, one, we are considering expanding that target and secondly, we don't want to lose the impact it's going to have now. Over the past 50 years, the Indus Delta has lost 170,000 hectares of mangroves and 1.5 million acres of agricultural land. This area used to have uh, uh, rice cultivations. The, rice, the red rice used to uh, grow here and now it is uh, no more grown because uh, there is no influx of fresh water. This year may be few areas which are inundated, they might go for seasonal crops this year. But Naturally, uh, for the last 10-15 uh, years, we are not getting that. These are the major creek systems which originate from the sea. At the tail end, uh, from where the inland area has started, where there is low-lying area, the water is intruded in those areas. The channels used to be the channels of the river Indus, which used to supply water uh, to the uh, agriculture, agriculture lands. Those are being inundated by this water. And then that has impact on the adjoining lanes. I asked Mosin Channa whether climate change and decades of human interference with the Indus have contributed to the recent devastation. The amount of water which used to flow is reducing. It's reducing tremendously. It's a natural phenomenon. Earlier we used to have floods quite regularly. Now, for some reason, river Indus is not having as, as frequent floods. And earlier we used to have, after every five years, we used to have flood. And every year we would have a small to medium flood. 